Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Dark Souls 3. So before we left off in Crucifixion Woods, pretty choppy on the recording so hopefully it's better this week. I'm going to spend my souls and then we'll go back to Crucifixion Woods. Speak thy name. Very well. Then tut take note. I'll probably get my vigor up to 20 <clears throat> then concentrate on strength and dex for a while. Probably do a s endurance up to 15 and Vit will get to 20 eventually as well. Let's go and see. Which way am I? Uh, this way. We're gonna see if we have some free levels or a free level. Oh, I would. Oh. Be safe. I think that works off. Uh, once you die a certain amount of times, he'll give you another level. Huh. I don't think we've freed Grey Rate yet. We might do that later. Um. Not far off. So we're just going to. So the good thing about three, when I go to sell my souls, they actually sell for full price, which is a good touch. Ashen one. Go and get another level. Well, very well. Then take note. Alright. So I think we grabbed most of the good items last time. We're gonna make our way through the little castle bit that leads up to the boss. Um, then we might try and attack the two Farron Knights that were near the set of armor that we picked up. Try and draw them out one at a time. Actually. So the Fallen Knight armor with most your other characters will be what you'll wear for a while. Knight armor's better but heavier, so depends on your balance. Actually, I might check the helmet. Same. Yeah. The full night says looks nice as well. So. Alright. I'm gonna try and remember where the dude with the lantern is. There he is. So again, rush him and then this area is pretty easy. Kind of doesn't make sense that um, like no other noises bother them, it's just the Latin screaming man. Intelligence is too low. Go this way first. You can probably see there's a guy waiting to kill me. Ah! 
So there's a couple of guys on the stairs, but your main cause of issue is that dude. The magic man. So this is the second way in. If you've fallen into the swamp, uh, you can come up this set of stairs. Basically just run through here, you can ignore the magic man. Uh, there is an item if we go this way, but you've got to drop down and come back around, which I can't be bothered doing right now. So I'll show you where the uh, sorcerer, merchant, trader, trainer man is. I missed this completely on my first run through, which helps when you were trying to do a sorcerer build. I think you have to have ten intelligence before he'll come. Well, follow this you. is only. What do you want? This is my stuff. If you haven't any, how intrigued. You'd better not, and should never. You have your. Don't let it bother. Be on your. Your unkindled. Oh well, it is either be on your, your. So I can't learn from him. There's two magic men's down there. This is kind of a ambush spot. Jumping attack. Hmm. Right. We'll have a first crack at this boss. Don't have any upgraded weapons, so. Okay. This boss is relatively simple in the first half and just gets progressively harder. Um, so at first it's just him and then he'll spawn some clones. If the magic is purple, it's the boss. If it's blue, it's a clone. So your first thing you want to do is rush. Ah. And just lay into him. Obviously, magic protection is good for this part. So I think he always spawns in the opposite corner that to you. So now I think he should start spawning clones. So just remember to dodge magic. I know now he will. Use the pillars to your advantage, uh, while the clones don't take damage off him. Idiot. Um, they do full damage, so just something to be aware of. Might check my items. See if I've got anything that helps with um, magic damage. It really depends if you can be bothered swapping things in and out all the time. Uh, we'll go this way. Yeah, 
You don't really need to kill the little crabs. I think that sword guy is the only one that will follow. Because he didn't have his um his shield up, that kick didn't do what I wanted it to. This kind of just skips the ambush a little bit. That's better. So I don't actually know how much of a difference it makes. Try it anyway. Hmm. Be the most mismatched, dumbest set of them um, ever. Absorption's gone up a little bit. What's that? Seven percent. <laughs> Don't know how much of a difference it makes. That's good. He has a soul spiller as well. Those soul ones are easy to dodge. Not a good idea. I mean, you can wait until those little balls get shot at you. It's easy enough to hide behind a pillar. Never really use resins. Go this way again. So we gotta be uh, careful about getting hit, <coughs> considering we're wearing relatively weak armor. That's 
possibly the best run there you can have. So this weapon can't be buffed. So that was a waste of time. Alright, I'm going to take it slow. The other thing that could be useful for me is um, Green Blossom. Why is that not hitting? But they. The only way to damage the boss is to damage the boss. Not the clones. The clones disappear, so... Once you hit them, or once he does his dive like that. This is risky. Gotta risk it for the biscuit! Nah. So when it gets to the end stage like that, I'm kind of better off to um, methodically work around and kill off the clones. I thought I could do enough damage before they all kill me, but I was clearly wrong. See, I never really use these items or the consumable ones. Mainly because I forget to. Mainly because I'm a hoarder in games and I'm always like, what if I need it later? He's gonna follow. So Crystal Stage, he's not that hard, I'm just sucking at it. How much it boosts your consumption by, to be honest. Your regen, not consumption. Good spawn. Alright, so I'm not getting close enough. Oh, 
have soul speed, buddy. So if you've got the white, you can equip like a dagger or even bare fisted. Um, because it takes so much stamina and so much time to swing the sword. It's not the best thing for getting rid of the clones. Just one hit of anything will kill them. That grass, boy. Two souls there straight away. Fantastic. While those balls are slow, I believe they're quite damaging. Let's not find out. Took a lot longer than I thought. A lot longer. Okay. Where does that lead? I think that's the cathedral. That's a pain in the ass. Um. <coughs> I'm just gonna go back and level up, and I think that'll be. So this is where the path splits. Um, I need those two black knights, the pharaoh knights. Uh, that's one way. And through the crystal sage where we just were, it branches off into a different direction. So we're going to go back to... Keep the knight armor for the moment. Even though it's heavy. Base weapon. But you should base it all around one weapon. But anyway. 
So his soul's not gonna really give this character anything useful. Well, well, there's a rapier, uh, both of which aren't that useful. But, yeah. no, no. So the question is, how are we going to keep with the Hollow Slate Great Sword? What do we got? The Aerithel straight sword's actually pretty good. Attack speed wise. So the deep battle axe is actually pretty good. For an early game weapon. It's just if they have Dark resistance. It's not as good. Anyway. Did we? We did. What a Estus. That is what need. Call. Oh, used to forge the web of fine pride. Now I'll be a praise the gods. <laughs> Scales. So here's the problem. Scales are relatively rare, so long term this weapon's not going to be good for us. Twinkling is even worse. Uh, we'll have to get into that a bit later. I haven't <laughs> used the strength dex build yet, so I'm not quite sure what weapon route I'm going to take. Anyway, is there anything else to redeem? Do that later. Oh, we probably have a free level because I suck at Oh, boss. good. But what do you let's take? Oh, right. He ate, and they made him such as. Let's <laughs> talk about, um,. Aldrich, how he didn't really earn it in <coughs> the title of, of a Lord of Cinder out of like doing something great. It's more because they feed him and wanted to get rid of him. Oh, I then shall be bearer. You can only use him five times before he uh, disappears. Cool. Well, thank you for watching episode four. And we will be back next week. We will. I don't know which path we'll take. We'll see. Join us next week to uh, find out. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you like what we do, please click like and leave a comment below. Feedback's always useful and likes are always appreciated. You can also click subscribe and check out our other How to Play videos. We also do playthroughs for video games and reviews. If reading's more your thing, be sure to head over to anotherdungeon.com and check out all our previews, reviews and other written articles. Thanks again for watching. Bye!